this house, that'll cost you $9,000 a month. California's population is going down. Last year, 275,000 people left. That's equivalent to half the population of Wyoming. And before the past couple years, it had never seen a population decline. Do I see friends leaving? Yeah, some have. But maybe we shouldn't be that shocked. After all, this place is expensive. Avocado toast, $13. And a latte, $6. A dozen eggs, $12. That's $1 a bottle of water, $7.29. There's good reasons why California is so expensive. Many people here are not able to afford a decent home. The median home price here has soared to $834,000. It's a human need, right? And this guy I meet says he left California for Texas, basically so he could afford to buy a decent sized house. So I'm an economic refugee from the Bay. According to online estimates, this house behind me is valued at $2.1 million. LA area is like already a million plus like anything good is a million plus now unless you're working in a in a high paying field it'd be pretty hard to live here from Oracle to Tesla companies of all sizes are quitting the California dream and moving their headquarters to places like Colorado and Texas and today for the first time in 170 years California will lose one of its congressional seats so why are people leaving California why is it so expensive and should the state be worried? Elon Musk, he says he is moving his businesses out of California. Between 2008 and 2019, 18,000 companies have left California. And it's a familiar story dealing with skyrocketing housing costs. Across the city, the tents stretch everywhere. Mass tech exodus. San Francisco, the number of people living in their cars or on the streets increased by 17%. Market will be allowed to work from home instead. The exit highlights one of the big challenges San Francisco Francisco is having as it banks on big name companies and their workers returning to the office. If California was its own country, it would be some of the biggest economies in the world. At one point, it passed the UK to be the world's fifth biggest economy. But that could be a thing of the past. See, for two years in a row, California has seen a population decline. And California ranks amongst the top lists when it comes to prices, housing, taxes, even home renovations. Gas prices here are the highest in the the country now at more than six dollars a gallon things here cost 16 percent more on average than the rest of the country and in the bay area some homes are being sold for a million dollars more than the seller is even asking for. That's just how crazy expensive home prices are, and yet the demand is so high. But now that jobs can often be done from other cities or even states, many people are choosing to leave California. I used to live in Cupertino. I started looking for a house back in 2018, and I'm old school, right? So when I hear the word million, I think mansion. I was seeing like 1,200 square foot homes for like 2.6 million in places like Menlo Park, or 2 million or 2.2 million in Sunningvale, right? Even San Jose was going like 1.8 million. It's like, this is ridiculous. So I moved to Austin to find a nice house that was affordable. I'm one of the fortunate ones who made smart decisions about money, like my wife and I, uh, where we made a purchase on our home back in 2015. By doing so, you know, we were able to, you know, beat the curve. But to understand some of California's problems right now, let's head over to San Francisco. This is one of the world's most famous cities and its population is also in decline and there are a number of reasons this is happening but i can honestly say what i see here is quite shocking i just walked into this store and it seemed like there was a robbery moments ago now everywhere you look in this area you'll see police this apple store behind me has three security guards inside then if you look over there across the street you have two police officers but even near the tourist areas just across the street from fisherman's wharf you have a lot of stores and restaurants that are now just completely boarded up. It amazes me that just turning one corner and you're really in a whole new world. I've never seen anything quite like this and not just the homelessness, but the mental health. And it really makes you wonder, how is this California? How is this the United States? By the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm making more videos like this. But hold up. California's decline in population is not just because of the crazy high prices. According to the New York Times, it's also a result of immigration restrictions, COVID-19, and falling birth rates too. In fact, women in California have their first child at age 32 on average. Just 10 years ago, it was age 27. But nonetheless, California's population is declining as states like Texas are seeing a population surge. While California lost 117,000 total residents, 
from its population in 2021, Texas grew by over 300,000 residents. For folks who are looking for more affordability and slower pace of life and not having to spend as much time commuting and stuff. Austin is awesome in that sense, like housing, really affordable. My wife and I and family were lucky we bought at the right time, so now we're on the other side of this bubble. Some cities in Texas are growing at 10% a year, a rate that would literally see its population double in just a matter of 10 years. But despite its growth, a lot of people I meet here say, no, 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 California is worth every penny. And they can't see themselves living elsewhere. In fact, it's even said that to live in California, people need to pay an additional sunshine tax, you know, for year-round good weather. Look at the beach behind me. This is in Venice, and it's an absolute beautiful day, and most days are beautiful. And even in January, February, you could still be doing what I'm doing right now in a t-shirt. So some people even say, well, that's just the sunshine tax. And you can't say that amongst most places in the U.S. Most places do not have weather like this and a beach like this. Some have, and some have came back, but I came from those places that are trying to attract these places. Yeah, and I'll tell you, uh, you're not gonna spend more than a year in those places and I wanna come back. I mean, California is a beautiful state, but I think you can find beauty wherever you are. Texas has its own charm, not the same as California by any stretch of the imagination, but there's lots of things to recommend living in Austin and yeah. living in Texas. It is worth it for a lot of things you can't get anywhere else. Like this is like a really diverse state. You know, being an Asian man, I'd rather be around a diverse like crowd rather than going to like uh, like a different state, like what, I don't know, like North Dakota or like Alabama or something, or even like Seattle seems a little bit too white to me. The housing market is so stressful. I mean, just look at these stats. 80% of millennials who bought a home have major regrets. According to a survey, more than 60% of millennials and Gen Z recently reported crying during the home buying process. Now, try buying a home in the most competitive and expensive housing market. Future generations should not fall into this trap of, you know, traveling and doing things just for the sake of posting on Instagram. I think that's what the younger generation is um, falling for. You don't want that because you gotta learn how to beat the curve. If you have a good career ahead of you, if you're graduating fresh out of high school, graduating from college, save money. It's easy to save $100,000 within 10 years, you know, to make your first down payment, whether it's in California or outside of California. But my question is this, what happens when the country's most populous state loses some of its population? Should it be worried? The short answer is yes. It stands out to lose on billions of dollars of income tax and business tax. You can see that other states have caught on, that there's an opportunity to attract businesses away from California. States like Texas are loving the inflow of new businesses and population growth. But here's the thing, how can a state which has the strictest regulations, some of the highest taxes, and cost of living actually expect to stay competitive, especially when work is going remote and people don't need to go to an office every day anymore? What happens next? Will California just be a place for those rich enough and willing enough to pay the price? You think California is worth every penny? Absolutely. There's a reason for it. The reason why is that we have good weather. Well, probably not San Francisco, but for the most part, I think that it's worth it. Like you get diversity, you, got, you have good food.